The U.S. Army was the first armed service in the world to deliver a nuclear weapon, but it lost that capability when the Army Air Corps became the U.S. Air Force in 1948. The ensuing internal arms race resulted in the biggest gun ever built by the United States. In 1949, the Army ordered its Picatinny arsenal in New Jersey to build a nuclear-capable artillery piece and the shells to go with it. Weapons engineers based their design on Anzio Annie, the German railway gun which had greeted American troops on the Italian beach during the Second World War. Rather than transporting the nuclear gun by rail, the M65 cannon, inevitably nicknamed Atomic Annie, was transported by two tractors, one in front and one behind. It could go 35 miles per hour and turn in 28 feet on paved or packed roadways. The bore was 280 millimeters, 11 inches, and it was capable of launching a shell 20 miles. A good thing because the W9 artillery shell designed for it carried a 15 kiloton nuclear warhead. The M65 cannon shot a W9 shell just once. On the morning of May 25, 1953, at Camp Desert Rock, Nevada, it took 19 seconds for the warhead to travel downrange for the test shot codenamed Grable. The Secretary of Defense and the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs witnessed the world's first nuclear artillery shot. The M65s cost $800,000 apiece. At least 20 were made and they were deployed to Europe and Korea. They were said to be obsolete as soon as they were built because of their size and the development of missile and rocket-based nuclear weapons. The M65 weapon system was retired in 1963. Only eight survive as museum pieces, including the one on display at the U.S. Army Field Artillery Museum at Fort Sill. But this one is unique. The M65 at Fort Sill is the one that fired the world's first and last nuclear artillery round.